In part 3, a 0.08 molar sodium hydroxide secondary standard had been prepared. A dilute sample of vinegar is prepared by transferring 10 ml of vinegar using a pipette to a measuring cylinder. Distilled water is used to make up the solution and also to top up the solution to the 100 mil mark of the measuring cylinder. This 1 in 10 solution now has a similar concentration to the sodium hydroxide secondary standard. Now the burette is rinsed with the vinegar solution to ensure it delivers an accurate concentration of the vinegar solution. A pipette is used to accurately measure the sodium hydroxide secondary standard to the clean flask. The pH probe requires greater depth, so extra distilled water is added. This does not change the number of moles of sodium hydroxide present in the flask. The indicator illustrates the detail provided by the data logger. Rinsing the pH probe is essential to remove other ions. The flask is placed on a stirrer while the probe monitors the pH changes during the titration. The titration curve is plotted on the screen in the background. As the equivalence point is approached, the pH curve is seen to dip steeply. The indicator's end point is seen before the steepest part of the curve is reached. The pH of the actual equivalence point is determined by visually analysing the graph for the point of inflection. The titration is now repeated. This time, the initial burette reading is recorded.
shape of the curve is not important this time. The burette is controlled to aim for the equivalence point of pH 8.4 that was determined from the previous graph. When this pH is reached, the final burette reading is recorded to calculate the concentration of the vinegar solution.